Never Stop Learning, week 274. We're gonna take a quick look at the Freeform Pen Tool Basics in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so you can activate the tool by going into the Tools panel on the left, finding the Pen Tool, just click and hold, and in the same stack, you're gonna find the Freeform Pen Tool. All right, so I got it set up the way it is by default. Now I'm just gonna do a quick click and drag. I'm just gonna come back around and once I get that little circle next to my pen icon, I'm gonna release and that's gonna give me a closed path. All right, so when you're thinking about the freeform pen tool, it's pretty much like the pencil tool inside of Adobe Illustrator. It's just gonna allow you to draw out your anchor points and pads. Now that I have a path drawn out, over here at the top, starting at the left, now this is where you could save off your freeform pen tool once you get these settings exactly how you want. Next to that, we have this drop down menu. Now I'm gonna use path, but check this out. You could switch the uh, tool mode over to shape. Now when you click on that, it's gonna give you a fill stroke. You could change the width and height for your shape and you have some additional options. For this video, I'm just gonna stick with path. All right, so I've got this path drawn out and it's giving me a couple of different options. I can make a selection out of this path, I can make a mask out of this path, or I can make a shape out of this path. All right, I'm gonna leave it just set as a path for now. Next, we have some options on where to place them and how they work together. So over here, the first one is gonna be a path operation. Now, if you click right here, it's gonna expose how to actually combine them or subtract them. Think of this as your pathfindering functions and you have similar functions when you're working with your marquee tools. All right, next to that, this is actually gonna work with our alignment. So over here, this top section is gonna work with a vertical axis. Here we have a horizontal axis. And down over here, this is your distribution. All right, so after that, over here, this is gonna be our path arrangement. This is where you're able to control the stacking order for the different paths that you're gonna build with your freeform pen tool. All right, I'm gonna leave those guys alone. Now, this is where the fun stuff is. This is actually what I wanted to show you. This is gonna enable the magnetic pen options. All right, I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. Let me get rid of this path by just deleting. Now, I've got this uh, logo here that I wanna trace out using vectors. So I'm gonna do a click and drag. And I have to go along here paying really close attention, trying to do my best to draw out this logo. All right, so if I mess up, that's where the vectors are gonna go. All right, so that's gonna be helpful in some situations, but check this out. If I turn this feature on, now I'm gonna click and release. All right, now all I'm doing is being careful of where I hover using that pen tip right there. All right, I'm gonna go along over here pretty quickly and just come back around. All right, now if you ever get to a place where you want to make sure that there's a point, just click and it'll leave an anchor point there for you. All right, now if you go off and start messing up, no big deal. Just get back on track and hit delete or backspace a couple times. All right, there we go. Now we're back and we can continue drawing. All right, if I hit enter or return on my keyboard, that's gonna go ahead and accept that change. Delete, it's gonna get rid of that. All right, so over here at the top, check this out. We got some settings for how this guy works. So click on the drop down menu. First we have curve fit, and by default it's set to two pixels. This is gonna be the error tolerance allowed within fitting beziers along your path. All right, so it's kind of like your uh, tolerance for error there. All right, magnetic, we already got this guy turned on. The quick one is over here, this big icon over here. So next we have the width, it's set to 10 pixels currently. This is actually gonna set the distance from edge to consider for your path. All right, and then we have the contrast, it's set to 10%. I have really high contrast here, but depending on how much contrast you would have on your image, you're gonna wanna play around with that setting. All right, now the frequency, it's set to 57, so somewhere in the middle is pretty good. Look at this, if I increase this frequency, I'm gonna accept that change, we're actually gonna increase the frequency of how many times we're dropping off those anchor points. So if you want it to be more accurate, go for it, lay down some more anchor points this way. But just realize that once you have your path laid out, you're gonna have a ton of anchor points. So if you need to make any edits to them, it's gonna be more difficult because you have to play around with all those different anchor points. All right, so let me just uh, hit escape to get rid of that. 
And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the Freeform Pen Tool Basics in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.